my YouTube friend Bell Gray Machine gave me some useful information. On riveting, I haven't done much riveting before. The rivets I'm using is an eighth of an inch. They don't always pop off cleanly. I guess the ones that didn't pop off cleanly I have to grind it off. This one didn't come off cleanly. So here's how it looks. It's not too bad. I was using bigger rivets before. It didn't really work out too well. So this is how I'm going to reinforce it. I'm going to paint it and hopefully it will be a little bit more durable. I just got the PMA mount for my alternator and the hub I have so I just spray painted it I'm sure it's gonna rust if you don't spray paint it so after I finish making the blades I will have to go out and get a pole and proceed from there I just added a couple of small magnets an eighth of an inch so I can close the gap some more on the second stator here it might help help a little bit with the voltage. So the voltage does go up. It's connected to a 12 volt battery. And it is charging. To be realistic, I don't think this car PMA project is going to be as successful as my axial flux wind turbine simply because I don't have the wind so in making this is more like just for the heck of it the fun of making something that can work it just won't work as well as this unit I have here. Thanks for watching.